morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, can I have your resume? Yes, sir. So, Mahesh, uh, introduce yourself. First of all, thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity to introduce myself, sir. My name is Zerla Mahesh. I am from Pradhutur, but currently staying in Hyderabad. I did my graduation in Bachelor of Technology in the stream of Electronics and Communication Engineering from Chaitanya Bharati Institute of Technology in 2023. I did my intermediate in Sri Sri Sai Junior College in 2019. I did my schooling from Munshala High School in 2017. So this is my educational background. Coming to my family background, we are five members, including me, my father, my mother, and my elder sister and my younger sister. So coming to my hobbies, my hobbies are playing, uh, watching movies and listening music and doing some real-time projects which is related to our core branch, that is electronics. And my start-up goal is to get a job in a reputed organization to improve, uh, to improve my skills and gain some experience. And my long-term goal is to get a job in a reputed organization in, and in best, in best of my field of work, sir. So this is about myself, sir. Very good, Mahesh. Yes, thanks. Uh, let us discuss about uh, that you have learned about core Java. Yes. So, what do you know about uh, Java? So, so Java is in a uh, software language which is used to uh, some write a, uh, write some programs which is related to secure uh, security purpose and uh, for gaming designs. So, this is about why Java is popular among other languages. Java uh, coming to Java, it is a simple language and. Uh, we can run on any platform. Why? Because it is a portable, write once and run anywhere, like Windows, Mac and Linux. So that it is a simple language and we can easy easy to understand the coding. So what the code is running uh, behind the while we are writing the codes. So that how many translators we have? We have three, sir. Those are uh, interpreter, compiler and, and uh, assembler, sir. Okay, fine. Uh, what are the operators? What are the types of operators we have? Sir, uh, we have seven types, sir. Uh, those are uh, operator is nothing but a symbol which is used to perform two operand between two operands like addition. The symbol is plus. Uh, those two operands like uh, a and b, b uh, while using symbol a plus b is uh, will it will perform some action like a plus b adding for uh, adding. We have types sir, uh, relational operator, logical operators, and uh, uh, relational, logical, arithmetic operators. Okay, so like this. Uh, then we will discuss uh, uh, what are uh, conditional statements. Conditional statements. It is con it is in the concept of control structures, which is used to uh, some iterations, like uh, not like a looping concept. It is used to whenever we want to uh, we want to get some one condition while we uh, we have to use those conditions conditional statements uh, in, in those we have types if simple if and if else if else if else if ladder simple if is nothing but whenever the condition is satisfied that it, then it will print the statement next if else is nothing but whenever the uh, if statement is true then it will goes to it will print if it the condition is false then it will goes to the else statement it will print next uh, else if ladder is Multiple conditions are having in there. It will check multiple conditions whether if the condition is true, then it will satisfy. It will print the statement. Next, uh, else if uh, mul if else ladder, sir. If else ladder consists of multiple if if else st if statements. So in if consists of inside the if statements. Then uh, what is the difference between if else ladder and switch case? Switch coming to switch case, it will check the values and expressions. If else is nothing but it will check the conditions whether the whether the given condition is true or wrong. Very good. Uh, then what do you know about this uh, looping statements? Looping states is nothing but uh, number of iterations until the condition is satisfied. It will, uh, it will comes uh, in the types like uh, if uh, for loop and do while while loops. There are three while. Okay, what is class and object? Class is nothing but a blueprint, sir, which can which uh, create the objects. And object is nothing but uh, object is an real world entity, like it is an abstance instance of object. 
and the uh, objects are create objects are allocated the memory whenever the they are created what is your method method is a block of uh, method is a block of code which contain the statements okay. inside the class okay. what is uh, compile time binding compile time binding is nothing but this is the process of binding the comp uh, method calling statement and method implementation uh, based on the same method name during the compilation so what do you uh, understand the difference between method method with no arguments and method with formal arguments method with no arguments means uh, there are no no arguments inside the method method with formal arguments means some something arguments are uh, present in the methods so like uh, uh, can you tell me the difference between methods with a void and methods with a return type other than void void there are two methods sir void and return type whenever we are using the system dot print and the, those statements we have to use void uh, void keyword then while we are uh, using the return we, we are not uh, we don't we don't we not need to use the system dot out dot print while we are printing the statement we have to just use the return keyword then it will print the statement in the output right. so what is method overloading method overloading is nothing but uh, number of methods are having with the same name but different arguments inside the inside the class what uh, what are difference between static and non static numbers static is a keyword which uh, when while we are representing be, uh, besides the method name then it is called static then we whenever we not we don't need to use the keyword then it is called non static while coming to the static we know we don't need to create an object while coming to the non static uh, we have to compulsory uh, create an object for the non static while because JVM will not allocate the memory for the non-static. Super, very good. And uh, uh, what do you know about this encapsulation? Sir, encapsulation is nothing but binding the data into a single unit and providing the providing security for the data. And uh, while uh, implementing the encapsulation, encapsulation is nothing but private uh, private data. So we have to access whenever we have to access the private data, we we need to use the setter and getter keywords. So, uh, how many types of relationships are there in Java? There are two types, sir. Is a relationship and has a relationship. Okay. Tell me about has a relationship. Okay. Uh, like, what is inheritance? Inheritance is nothing but uh, superclass consists of the properties of subclass consists of superclass. Whatever the superclass consists the properties, then it will comes to the subclass. So this is called inheritance, and inheritance consists consist of five types. Those are ma single inheritance, multiple inheritance, multi-level inheritance, multiple inheritance, hybrid, and hierarchical. Yeah. So can we achieve multiple inheritance? No, sir. What is the reason? While we are creating an, there is no need to create. A, in multiple inheritance there are more parents like parent a parent b parent c but the child is parent d so there are there are three parents while coming to the child there is one whenever we want to create an object we, we need to compulsory compulsory create to object for the child whenever we are we have to create an object for the child there is the jvm will not, not understand what what the parent we have to call from why because there are it is a diamond like problem there are more, three parents so that it will not achieve the multiple inheritance in the inheritance but we can achieve from the abstraction by using two types class and interfaces very good uh, what is method overriding method overriding is also same sir uh, consisting of uh, multiple method names but same name with different arguments inside of the class okay fine okay mahesh it's very good uh, discussion with about java
So you spoke well and uh, your confidence is too good. Maintain this confidence and all the best. Thank you.